Hey guys, Brett here, and in this video, I'm taking a look at a new desktop software called Doodly. Now, Doodly is not a unique concept. There have been software that does this type of thing before. What Doodly basically is, is it's a whiteboard software. It allows you to make those whiteboard videos that have a hand that draws the image and draws the text. And like I said, there have been plenty of those before. There have been several that I've looked at before. But Doodly actually has some unique features that makes it stand out. So what I want to do in this video is show you how Doodly works. And then I'm going to show you a way that I actually used a Doodly video to make money. And I think that's important that you actually see how you can use these videos and monetize these videos because it's one thing to be able to make a cool little animated video, but if you don't know how to make money with it, it's not going to do you very much. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the software and I'm going to show you a way that I monetize the video that I made with the software. Okay, so I have Doodly loaded up and the first thing that I looked for when I got this software was I wanted to find the tutorials. And looking in here, I can see there is a couple of menus. Uh, there's this main menu that takes me back to this page. There's a menu that says edit, so I can copy and paste. There's a menu that says window, which is basically just the controls for the window. And then on the right hand side, there is a, it shows my name and it has user details and I can log out, which basically closes the software. Now, there is no help built into the software at all. And anybody who has followed me for any length of time knows that I feel that that is just completely generic. There is absolutely no legitimate reason not to have help inside of your software. It's pure laziness and it's pure lack of consideration for your customers. There's no reason not to have help inside of your software or at the very least a link to online help. Now, that being said, Doodly is incredibly easy to use. And even though I didn't have any tutorials or any instruction videos, honestly, I didn't need any. So I have a couple of tests here, but I'm going to start a new video and show you how to create one from scratch. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and click on the Create New Video button. And it's going to ask you if you want to do a whiteboard video or a blackboard video. And those two things are pretty self-explanatory. A whiteboard video is like a whiteboard and somebody drawing on it with a, a marker, with a black marker. And a blackboard video is like a blackboard and somebody drawing on it with a piece of chalk. So I'm actually going to select a whiteboard video just because I like them better. I'm going to go ahead and enter in my name of my video and I'll just call this test two. And then I'll go ahead and click on the create button. This is then going to bring me into the video editor. So you can see in here, this is my video. This is going to be my preview. This is my timeline. Let me move this down a little bit so you can see it better. This is my timeline with all my scenes for my video. And on the left is all of the pre-made scenes, the backgrounds that I could use. There are several characters that I can put inside of my videos as well. There's props. Or I can go ahead and enter in text. And I can also add sound. Now I'm going to show you each one of these features as I go ahead and make my video. The very first thing I'm going to do is look at the scenes. Uh, I'm not really going to use one of these scenes, I don't think. If I really wanted to, I could have like one of these scenes as a part of a background. I really don't think I want to use one of them, but I am going to go ahead and use a character. If you want to, you can upload your own characters and your own props, or you can use any of the several that they provide for you. I'm just going to go ahead and pick one here. Let's go ahead and pick Amanda Happy. I'll add it in there and I can move it around anywhere I want. I can rotate it or I can go ahead and resize it. I'm going to go ahead and just resize this. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in some text. Let's go ahead and add that in. And I'll go ahead and edit in my text. And I'll just say this is Brett testing doodly make it a little bit bigger again I can resize it easily or rotate it if I like and as I'm adding these new things you can actually see on the right hand side of my screen here you can see where it shows each of the items that I've added and it will allow me to select the delay and the duration of those items. And what that's allowing me to do is allowing me to define how quickly 
I want each of those things to be drawn. So I could make the, the image be drawn very quickly and then maybe make the text be drawn a little bit slower so that way it's easier to read. Also on my right hand side here you can see I can click on the preview button which will preview the entire video with all of its scenes even though right now I only have one or I can click on to just preview the scene that I'm editing. Below here right in the lower left hand corner you can see my scene and I can go ahead and add in additional scenes. And the way a scene works is it's like a new whiteboard. So what will happen is the software will create the video of a drawing the first scene, and then it will clear, and then it will create the video of a drawing the second scene. And in that way, you can tell a story, or you can go through your entire pitch, or whatever you're doing in your video. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add some more scenes in for this test, but I'm not going to record it because it'll make this recording very long. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording. I'm going to add in some more scenes, and then I'll bring you back and I'll show you how to add in sound and how to export your video. Okay, so now that I have all of my scenes created, the final step is going to be to go ahead and add in my audio. And this is an important final step because, frankly, a video without even a background track, some kind of audio, some music, something, is really boring. When you watch a video and there's no sound, it just seems like something is missing. It just doesn't seem right. Fortunately, Doodly makes it incredibly easy to go ahead and add in some audio. All you need to do is go ahead and click on the Sounds tab, and then it shows you all of the pre-made audio that you can use, or, of course, you can upload your own. To check out the audio, simply go ahead and click on the Play button. It will play the music for you. I'll go ahead and turn up my speakers really loud and see if my mic can pick up some of these plays. Let's go ahead and try another one. Alright, that doesn't sound too good because my speakers are up really loud. So it's actually making my speakers crackle. So I might have my speakers up a little too loud. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and just pick one that I like. You know, I actually kind of just like the cheese one. Uh, but I need one that's a little bit longer because my video is going to be a little bit longer than 32 seconds. And from what I could see, you can actually set the software to shorten the audio. But I'm not so sure if you can actually have it repeat. I have to check again and see if I can figure out how to make it repeat. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and find one that I like that's going to be long enough. Okay, so the one that I like is actually called A Living World. I'm going to go ahead and use that. And in order to use it, all I do is grab it. And drag it down into the audio line now you can see my audio is actually longer than my video so what I want to happen is I want the software to automatically trim my audio otherwise if I don't have it automatically trim my audio what's gonna happen is when the animation part is done it's just gonna have a video of the music playing and I don't want that I want it to trim off so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the settings and you can see it says the video ends where an animation ends that was gonna make it trim so I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then all I have to do is click on the export button. And it's going to ask me for the resolution that I want. I am going to pick high def 720p, which is great for YouTube. 30 frames per second is fine. I'm going to do 100% maximum quality. And I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. And then it's going to render my video. Now, in my past tests, I can tell that it takes about three to four minutes to render the video. You can see it's already up to 12 sec percent. It's actually going really fast today. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and pause this video, and I will come back when it's all done. Okay, so now my video is finished rendering, and let's go ahead and take a look at it together. Okay, so now we can see that we can easily and quickly make these cool little animated videos with some nice audio tracks with Doodly. We can even upload our custom images to them, and it's simple enough that even somebody without the tutorial videos can use it without a problem.
But the question then becomes is what can we do with these videos? What can we do to make money with these videos? Because we're not making videos just for the sake of making videos. We're making videos because we actually want to make some money with these videos. So I want you to look at my videos in my list here. And I want you to see one that says mail it promo. What I decided to do was I decided to actually make a video ad for Facebook using the Doodly software. And the reason I did this is because I've been experimenting with video ads and I've been noticing consistently that video ads work way better on Facebook. You get much better conversions, much better cost per clicks. You much get much better results with video ads. Now, normally when I make a video ad, what I do is I go ahead and do a screenshot and I do a demo and I make a big long winded video. A lot of people don't have the ability to do that. And a lot of people are quite honestly a little bit shy to do that. So I wanted to know if people can actually make videos with Doodly and then use them for Facebook ads so they can get these low cost per clicks like I get and get really inexpensive traffic like I get. I wanted to know if a video made with Doodly would actually convert well also, if it would actually work to use a Doodly style video with a Facebook ad. So I'm going to go ahead I'm going to take you over to my Facebook ads account and I'm going to show you the results of when I use Doodly for a video ad on Facebook. Okay, so this is my Facebook ads account, and I actually have a couple of ads that I have been running. I've had them paused for the last couple of days, but I want to show you some of the results that I've gotten with the ads. So the very first one I want to show you is this one. It says, Mail It Pre-Launch. Now, this was a typical graphical ad. It wasn't a video at all, and you can see after a while, I ended up paying, on average, about 40 cents per click. So that was pretty expensive. 40 cents per click is kind of high. I mean, you could still make money with that, but it's not stellar. I then did two other video ads. Uh, one of them was pre-launch video two and then pre-launch video one. I ran those ads for a while and with them I ended up paying 26 cents per click on average and 17 cents per click on average. Now that was much better results and I was incredibly happy with those results. But as I said, I was making those videos more production style. I was doing screencasting, demos, I was editing them. I wanted to see if you can actually run a video ad using a video made with something like Doodly and if it would convert also. I went, I made a video with Doodly. You actually saw it before when I was showing you the software. You could see it in the My Video section and I went and I ran that. Now I only spent $15 because it was just an initial test and I want you to see the results that I got for my $15. It was 23 cents per click. Well, if you notice here, this was my graphic ad, 40 cents per click. This was my one video ad, 26 per cents per click. This was another video ad that converted really well, 17 cents per click. Doodly's video actually outperformed two out of the three other ads that I did. It completely blew away the graphic ad. It did better than one of my video ads where I actually spent a lot of time creating a walkthrough video and it didn't quite do as well as one of my other video ads. So Doodly converted really well though. It did better than two out of three of my other ads and I ended up getting traffic using a Doodly video for an ad on Facebook for only 23 cents per click. Now if we actually look at this, I'll go ahead and maximize this so you can see. The biggest mistake that I made when running this ad is that I shut it off. I only let it run for $15 because it actually started getting even better. As the ad kept going on, the cost per click was going down. It started off initially kind of high, but it started going down as the ad kept going on. At Towards the end, I was paying only $0.16 cents per click. It was actually, at the end, the best of the ads that I was running. And it was a video that I made in like five minutes with doodly and it was converting well very well and getting me very low cost traffic so why there are a lot of things you can do with doodly you can make explainer videos you can make sales videos you can try to do things on youtube i think another great thing to do with doodly is to use it to make very quick and very easy video ads so that way you can get this low cost traffic 
from Facebook. When you're getting traffic for under a quarter a click, it's really easy to make money off that traffic. With Doodly, I was able to get traffic consistently for under a quarter a click. And the last day that I was running this ad, I was actually getting it for 16 cents per click. I have this video ad paused right now, but I guarantee you I'm going to be increasing this budget and I'm going to be getting some more traffic from this Doodly video. Because Doodly is incredibly easy to use, it's easy enough to use that I didn't even need the tutorial videos because it's fast, because it's efficient, because it's kind of fun, and more importantly, because I know that there's at least one really good way to make money with the videos that you make with Doodly. I think that this is a solid investment. I think it's well worth picking up, and I think it's something you should definitely consider. Alrighty, guys, thank you, and enjoy.